So we love what you're doing, Tony. You know that. And thank you so much for letting us partner with you guys yes. for a lot of years. Yes. For a lot of years now. You make such a difference in the community. So here's something we would like for you guys to have from our Christmas for Calway offering. And uh, you can open that up and use that however you need to to help you guys in the next year. Thank you. You're very welcome. And I'd like to say you guys have just been awesome to team up with. You've touched many more hearts than I ever could. And uh, you guys just keep on keeping on with great work. Well, I don't know many people who haven't been touched by you guys in this community in some way. So. Okay. okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Tona Casey, and I'm with the Murray Calloway County Needline. And we are an agency that does a little bit of everything, primarily meeting basic human needs. We're talking food, utilities, life-sustaining medication, medical travel, blankets in the wintertime, fans in the summer, personal and hygiene items. Like I say, basic human needs. And we have several, several different food programs. We're reaching all the way from our children with the backpack program, all the way up to our seniors with our senior food program and those in between. We serve well over 1,200 a month. And that does not even include all the backpack children. Um, that includes everything else, or all the different food programs and all the other things that we do. Sometimes I get frustrated with my job. I guess everybody does. And I was uh, questioning why I was there. It was, it was late. I was walking through the back. And I was like, God, why am I here? And you know, I just feel not really needing, needed. What, what's going on? And it's just like he thumped me on the head. The phone rung, and I answered it, and it was a family. And uh, the dad said, I need help. I don't know what to do. I, I said, what kind of help do you need? And he said, well, we're hungry, and our lights are gonna be turned off, and I don't know where to turn, I don't know. I don't know. And somebody said, you was the place to call. This was about seven o'clock at night. So we had been closed a few hours. So I said, well, at seven o'clock, if you'll tell me where you live, I'll bring you some food. And then I'll talk to you about how to get the help with the rest of the, the stuff. Normally I don't do that. And normally I don't recommend anybody to go by themselves, take two. But this was here in town. So I stopped in with my box of food and went in and sat down, and the needs were huge. I stayed two hours discussing not only what Needline could do, but what the community as a whole could do, because I'm a firm believer that we have to work together. And if we don't work together, we're not gonna be able to meet the needs. Nobody's an island. And uh, so when I left there, I prayed, and I thanked the good Lord for opening my eyes once again to there is need. We all can do something. And that family needed so much. Their lights were gonna be turned off. We're talking young children, little children. And the hunger was there. And I do believe that most people who are, are in need and hurting will turn around and pay it back. They'll pay it forward every time. And I get to see that. That's the beauty of being the director at Needline. I get to see miracles.